If you were active during the Bloodhound operation, you may remember a game mode called Guardian. This is basically the Counter-Strike equivalent of Man vs. Machine in TF2. In short, this game of defending a site from increasingly difficult bots has quickly been forgotten, but is this justified? The game had a few missions with custom-made maps, but works well with almost all active duty maps. To win the game, you need to get the certain amount of kills with the weapon that it says in chat. Though the game is easy at the start, when you get to the later waves, grenades and good positioning almost feel needed in order to survive. So why does this game mode stand out to me? It's caught my eye from its immense potential and its new type of gameplay with Counter-Strike. In all official modes right now, one of the most effective ways to gain victory is to be selfish. This game, on the other hand, encourages a co-op approach that makes you help your teammate a lot more than the current modes. Whereas with others like matchmaking, when your team dies, it's not the end of the world. In Guardian, however, a teammate dying early is extremely detrimental, as both players dying would mean the end of the game. This game mode encourages you to go out of your way to help your other, helping to increase synergy and teamwork. I found myself while playing, communicating and asking for help more often than I did in competitive, as you can spend more of your attention towards your friend than everything you have to account for in a traditional mode. Practicing more with this mode can help those who struggle with communicating, as you can practice high pressure scenarios over and over again. I would rate it over most game modes from Valve, and having it hidden is a shame considering how helpful and effective it could be for new players. It teaches giving and teamwork unlike many of the other games. The others teach to fend for yourself, which is the exact opposite of competitive play. It's a team game. The game mode is fun and exciting for all skill levels, and has yet flown under everyone's radar because of the absent advertising it gets. Currently, everyone is on the edge of their seats for a new operation or update, yet something new and great for all is thrown under the bus and ignored. Playing with friends has given me fun I haven't experienced with CS in a long time. Being able to mess around for hours without it getting boring is nothing to look over. The other modes everyone plays can get tiring, frustrating, or boring when playing continuously. But Guardian adds something new. It's somehow able to cover the full spectrum, teaching people essential skills of teamwork in Counter-Strike, while at the same time being able to entertain those trying to mess around. It's an amazing game mode that has barely been talked about, and is yet already one of my favorites. What about future potential? As of right now, the game already seems for the most part polished. The only glitch I found was that you could buy during waves using binds. Adding risky missions and rounds, like losing 80% of your health and surviving, can add a suspenseful risk-reward aspect to the game to make it even more engaging. The game is open for change though, and it is something new and at the same time already well tweaked. I feel like many don't know or don't realize the playtime and play value this game can give. Something well fit for all that play Counter-Strike shouldn't be played for such a short period of time. The potential it can give for everyone is something ignored. The first step we can do to spreading this wonderful mode around is to play it and give it credit. Let's go and type the following commands into the console, and then choose the map you'd like to play. All existing ones currently work surprisingly well. <laughs> what is this? What was that?